So, sa pagsusolve naman ng problem na to, so, ang pinapahanap is yung ating piston displacement. Huh? So, pag sinabi natin piston displacement, so, PD is equal to AL. No? Yung A natin is area ng bore, then yung L is length ng stroke. No? So, sinabi sa, truck, sa problem, ha, uh, ang bore natin is 9.35. So, pag sinabing bore, diameter ito. So, kaya, kung diameter yon at area ang kailangan natin, pwede natin gamitin is pi d squared over 4. So, pi times 9.35 inch squared over 4 times yung L natin, which is yun yung length of stroke na 8.75 inch. So, solving this, ang makukuha natin ay 600.78 inch cube. So, ganyan lang pagkuha ng piston displacement. So, itong problem na to ay madali lang naman computein. So, ang pinapanap lang is bore to stroke ratio. So, pag sinabi natin ratio is ah, uh, Naka-fraction siya, di ba? Para siya divided by. So, kung bore to stroke, ibig sabihin, uh, bore over stroke. No, bore to stroke ratio. So, kaya, i-plug in natin yung values. So, 5.38 inches all over 8.21 inches. So, ito yung ating bore. Ito yung ating stroke. So, kaya, ang ating bore to stroke ratio is equal to 5.38 divided by 8.21 ang makukuha nating sagot ay 0 0.6552984166 is to 1 huwag kakalimutan yung is to 1 kasi ratio siya so ibig sabihin nito meron kang 0 0.65 na bore sa isang stroke. Sa problem ito, so, pinapahanap naman na is yung piston displacement. So, given yung bore diameter and yung stroke to bore ratio. So, sa pagkuha ng piston displacement, kailangan natin is area ng bore and stroke. At sa problem na ito, hindi given yung stroke, pero given yung stroke to bore ratio. So, computein muna natin. So, pag sinabi natin stroke to bore ratio, so, stroke over bore. No? Stroke over bore. And, nawawala yung ating, at ang value ng stroke to bore ratio is 1.3. So, anong ating stroke? So, hindi siya given. So, yun yung hinanap natin. At ang value naman ng bore natin, is 7.5 cm. So, kaya, ang makukuha nating value ng stroke, no, makukuha nating value ng stroke ay, pag multiply lang natin, 1.3 times 7.5, magkakaroon tayo ng 9.75 cm. Then, pwede na nating compute yung piston displacement. So, given yung bore, na 7.5 cm squared over 4 times yung stroke natin na 9.75 cm ang makukuha nating piston displacement ay 430.7418052 cm3 oh, ang pinapahanap naman sa problem na to is total piston display, displacement. So, yun din yung tinatawag na engine displacement. So, ang engine displacement ay uh, piston displacement times yung number ng cylinder. So, kaya total piston displacement, other term yun doon. So, sinabi dito na 3 by 4 na 4-stroke engine. So, pag sinabi 3 by 4, Yung nauuna lagi doon is bore and yung sunod is stroke. No? Ibig sabihin, 
So, pag kinumpute natin yung engine displacement, PD, itong PD is equal to AL to. So, kaya, pi times, ang bore natin is 3 inches. Ang stroke, na, uh, ang stroke natin is 4 inches. And, a number of cylinders natin is 4. Sabi sa problem. Kaya ang engine displacement natin or ang total piston displacement na makukuha natin is 113.0973355 inch cube. So, sa so problem na to is pinapanan pa rin yung engine displacement. So, given yung bore and yung stroke. And, anong ating number of cylinders? So, sabi, meron tayong V8 engine. Ibig sabihin ng V doon is, yung arrangement ng cylinder is in V-shape or naka-V arrangement siya. Then, yung 8 doon is the number of cylinder. So, kaya ang ating engine displacement equal siya sa pi times 140 millimeter squared over 4 times yung stroke natin na 127 millimeter times 8. So, 8 yung number of cylinders natin. So, pag sinold natin to, makukuha natin value is 15640 104.87 millimeter cube.